I don't know. This is the second day in a row that I've waken up with a headache. I can't tell you why it feels like somebody's stabbing me like right here. And it's so, so, I can't. I have two right contacts left and I have not been to the eye doctor. We need to call these people and beg them to give me Beg them to give me more contacts so I don't have to wear my big glasses. I have not worn my glasses in a cool month because they lowest of keys don't fit. What size is this? If you are a part of the people who don't have to pay to see, first of all, you're extremely lucky too. If you didn't know, you essentially have to go in for an eye exam every single year and once you're it's been a year since your last exam they will not give you your prescription they'll be like you have to you 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 have to come and get another test girl my eyesight my contacts work exactly this my contacts work exactly the same as they did a year ago i'm telling you man, that this one is bothering me why is this one bothering me what does my year old prescription have to do with you telling me oh i can't send that to you have to come in for an appointment to get re-examined just for them to tell me my prescription is exactly the same please if you're truly one of the people who can just wake up and see every day i don't like envy you but maybe you are just a little bit more superior i don't know ah! what was that for I realized I, okay, I realized I started this vlog complaining. It's not who I am. Sorry for the first thing that you heard in this video was me complaining about how terrible it is to have bad eyesight. I apologize, but I mean, it's my truth. So I think I should be able to speak it. I don't know. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to a new video, guys. We're doing some exciting, groundbreaking, riveting stuff today. And when I say that, I mean I'm getting a new Netflix. Guys, if you watch a few of my last vlogs, you know that I have been attempting, heavy on the attempt, on trying to get a new lash tag. And it got to the point where I was getting ghosted by the same person two times. But you know what today? I haven't gotten a hey girly text. I haven't had any issues with the point where I'm and I am giddy is I don't know what I haven't had my nails done in about to be pushing three months if I'm not mistaken no I haven't had my nails done since graduation which is fine it's fine like it's not terrible like it's not the end in the world girl you don't need them done all the time but I think it's fun if we did have them done more often am I wrong I mean seeing me with but seeing this but I think that would eat. I think that would eat. You have to be there to limb 15 and it's 8.35 right now. So we need to figure out breakfast, coffee. My brush is broke. Can you tell? Like every time I go to you. It's dirty as hell. <laughs> every time I go to use it, the spoolie like pops out of the brush and it's so annoying. I just ordered a new one from Ulta. Like why is it spinning? Girl. Oh girl, please. It's too early to be cussing. Um. I went to um, Ulta yesterday because I went to go buy a new one of these brushes, but they didn't have any in the Ulta that I went to. So I was like, oh my gosh. So what did I do? Naturally buy things. I did not go in there for, you know? And I left with some stuff. I ended up getting a few things from Soap and Glory. I got the body wash and the body lotion. Actually, let me just show you. I got this lotion and then the matching body wash. Then I also got a new lip liner because you guys know I've been trying to experiment with that. I mean, I feel like I have a pretty nice lip pretty nice lip um what else did i get from ulta i also got a new thing of glycolic acid from the ordinary and when i was hanging out with madison she got glycolic acid from the ulta and target and this entire time i thought the ordinary was like glycolic acid was still like eight nine dollars why is that bottle thirteen dollars now the woman was too stunned to speak and i know people have to get paid this that and the third and everything like that but when i first started buying that stuff it was no more than ten dollars nine dollars granted the bottle lasts a long time especially because i don't use it every day so i'm not really tripping about it but i saw it was 13 dollars with her and i was like oh maybe it's just like the target tax you know like nothing crazy but i saw that and i was like 
Ain't no way. And I also got, um, oh my gosh, it's spinning. I also got some CeraVe hand lotion that I want to put in my car. I actually got something else in my car because I'll show you when we get in there. Just remind me. I have the worst CarPlay charger in my car. So first of all, I don't have any phone chargers in my car. That's the first thing. And the one I do have, why is half of it broken? I mean like it's completely broken like you know the white part of the top of apple chargers and it's like the little white block to like protect the wires yeah half of that is gone gone, gone. for the life of me i cannot tell you where it went um why it looks like that i ordered a new cord for my car for the first time in like three years i also got some hand lotion from ulta yesterday because i don't have any lotion in my car okay girl just walk around ashy i guess i forgot to mention this in my spa night routine video i recently got this foot lotion from lush and when i tell you this stuff has literal crack in it i kind of went on like a little blush like not resurgence but i've been buying their stuff more often and when i went i did like a really big like feet thing because i feel like i could just take better care of my feet and i also got this repeat um foot balm which is also really good if you have like super dry feet you should get this if you're interested in trying something but if you just have like oh i want a daily wear type of thing definitely get this one and then i tried this volcano mask in my spa night routine video and it was like good like it did what it needed to do it it got rid of all the stuff on my feet that i wanted to try i accidentally got this um foot powder from lush and i'm over here thinking oh it's like a scrub girl no you powder your feet up like you're baking bread and croissants so your feet don't sway it's effective deodorizing herbal powder to make your feet fresh and odor free so if you're a stinky foot girly um you should should look into that <laughs> especially if you like work out because i know people be working out barefoot and no socks and just a mess and it be smelling like onions and cheese and chips in the gym because y'all feet be thin i think we should all invest in some foot powder Make some noise for the foot powder. Where you are? <laughs> Why did you come down the stairs like that? Okay. harassed and ridiculed for way too long. How many pictures and videos you have in your phone? 3,000. 16,000. How we go from 3,000 to 6,000? <laughs> I was talking to my grandmother and she was like, y'all, I have almost 5,000 photos in my phone. And I was like, Nan, I'm gonna do you one better. I have 40,000. And she said, oh, Aaliyah. You hear her saying that? Aaliyah. <laughs> I mean, considering like the very first photos I have date back to april of 2014 this is when i went to italy this is the first ever photo in my phone i ate this composition i was in a gondola eating y'all up right. a pinterest not pinterest tumblr tumblr ate these up like y'all don't get it you weren't there this i'm back in the bathroom now because i actually think i'm gonna take a mini little shower but i'm only gonna take like a little body shower because i know i already put my brows on i already know i put my spf on but i just want to smell super duper duper fresh not saying i don't but i just want to so i think i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower despite me putting on deodorant spf putting my brows on we're just gonna do a simple body shower i actually don't have to i said i don't have to be where until 11 15 and i actually ate cooked and did my little routine a lot faster than i originally planned got an outfit and then we're gonna get in the shower i think i actually know what i want to wear i think it's in the dryer for my appointment did i just flash you for my appointment um i was honestly gonna wear some leggings but it's a little bit more like warm than i thought and it's a little bit more cozy outside so 
I recently got these sweatpants from PacSun and then I got this off-white shirt, but the greens don't match. So I want to wear this shirt and I want to wear these pants, but it's my first impression and that means I have to be putting it on for the nail tech because I can't ever think I like looking crazy. But I also bought these sweatpants from PacSun as well. And they're just some regular straight-legged gray sweatpants, which could be really cute deciding depending on how I, what did he say, style them. I actually would really want to wear these green bottoms. I just don't know what top whatever will i do because the easiest thing that i honestly could do is just throw on this t-shirt and say f it because realistically they're not that close on the body it doesn't look that bad i think i might just wear this today i think i'm overthinking it a lot um, which is what i do for the dumbest things literally going to a nail appointment and before that i'm finishing up a video girl it's never that serious <laughs> shower i'm about to do a no makeup makeup routine y'all know the vibes because i do in fact have to go very soon before i go i have to finish a sponsored video with the voiceover for the brand and then i also have to upload it all within 45 minutes not to be like i have somewhere to be and like those girls on tiktok forums rushing to be somewhere girl just wake up earlier time really just got the best of me i thought i had all this time and then here i am doing this once again not just like those tiktok girlies who do nothing but rush and are late everywhere but i um <laughs> i do in fact have somewhere to be and i don't want to be late i'm mentally telling myself that i need to leave early because i hate being late i think it's super inconsiderate and considering this is people's livelihoods babes let's have some common decency and not pull up at the time the appointment's supposed to start okay you need to get buzzed in you need to park you need to find the building give yourself at least 10 minutes please i didn't even put primer on I went in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It basically just adds like a super dewy layer to your skin. And I recently have been loving to do this type of method as of more recently because it helps my skin look a lot more glowy. And two, it's not nearly as much as makeup as I would normally put on. I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Pinch Me Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss. I'm running out of this, so this is probably gonna be my last use of this before I have to buy another one. Like, girl, nothing is coming out of here at all. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Then I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. You really shouldn't take my advice when it comes to what brushes to use because I just be using whatever I want and whatever I can get my hands on. And this has been my liquid blush brush for some months, if not years now. But it definitely gets the job done because it blends it out and that's all I really need to do. Blends it out without making it look patchy which is always what I need to do. Next, going in with this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I like to top this off on my liquid blush because it adds a lot more pigment. Not saying that the Rare Beauty isn't pigmented because I love the Rare Beauty blush, but it just adds double the amount of pigment and it sets the stuff. And boom, I look more put together already. Would you look at that? <laughs> now, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty sun stalker bronzer i use this night and day i mean look how dirty it is it's probably should get a new one but whatever i'm trying to move more into like cream products and everything but i don't know where to start so if you have any recommendations let me know i think i'm gonna get the fenty beauty cream blush and contour or bronzer just because my skin does get a little bit dry in the fall and winter so i don't think a bunch of powders is gonna be necessarily good for that type of thing fenty can honestly do no wrong in my opinion. They haven't had a miss on a product since they originally launched. I mean, Fenty single-handedly skin, skin, Fenty, si Fenty Beauty single-handedly changed the makeup game based on their 60 shades of foundation that came out on the first initial drop. Brands take note because there's a lot of y'all that still aren't that inclusive. So that's another main reason I really ride with Fenty the way I do. Rare Beauty too, and REM Beauty, REM Beauty, um, Ariana Grande's brand. They have a ton of shade ranges for everybody. So if you're ever looking for a more inclusive brand to support, I recommend Fenty Rare Beauty and REM Beauty. We're gonna take my highlights. This is also Fenty Beauty. This is the freestyle highlighter on just a random brush that I have. Lightly putting some on my nose. Now, the makeup's done for today. And I look so much more alive and well. Now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Party Stall Day, whatever, setting spray. 
now I just had the bright idea that I can do my video and then upload it and then while it's saving and uploading I could just go ahead and do my lashes so I'm gonna head downstairs and do that really quick and I will be right back to do my lashes chocolate mocha brown maybe if my lips weren't ashy i don't know guys do we like it i think i like it do we like it guys i don't even know if you guys can tell a freaking difference but whatever while i wait up until the last possible minute that i can leave and still be early i'm actually going to put on my perfume and give you a recent vinyl pickups haul even though nobody asked uh this is one of my interests so i'm gonna show you what i got also i need to get cashew dressed yes my dog gets dressed who's gonna beat my ass oh my gosh and the video is almost done Perfect, it's like halfway done of exporting. Would you look at that? Time was on my side today. This is my first time sitting in my living room and like putting my camera on me. I don't know how the lighting is or how it isn't, but just know um, we're trying. I recently went to my favorite record store, Lunchbox Records here in Charlotte, and I picked up three new vinyls. First things first, babe, say what you want about this lady, but this is a killer piece of work. Babe, you have so many hits. Last time you listened to this all the way through, but you definitely should give it another try because this is some pressure. So I picked up Miss Miley. I love the art. I love the way it sits. It's just, uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Also, I had to pick up one of the best albums I think I've ever heard in my life. Sam Smith in The Lonely Hour. I personally love the first version, not the deluxe, but I love this album so bad. I don't know when's last time you also listened to this all the way through or just listened to a song off it all the way through, but this album, literally changed my life. Not to be like dramatic or anything, but this actually changed my life. This was $28.99 and then the Miley one was $32.99. The one I was most excited about. Yes. Yes. Back to black on vinyl. I've been looking for this for months. My mom has always been a really big Amy Winehouse fan and her story is just really sad and I appreciate her a lot as an artist. I love her music. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get Miss Amy. And then this one was $25.99. It doesn't surprise me that this was the cheapest one because the more mainstream the artist or the album, the more they charge, which is like, okay, it makes sense. They want to make more money. But I was like, you know what? Not too much on Miss Amy. Miss Back to Black, Miss Rehab, Miss Love is a Losing Game. <laughs> Okay, we've arrived. I'm like seven minutes early. I'm just gonna DM her and tell her I'm here. Well, maybe I should get out. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting nervous. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I need to get set up. My appointment was at 11.15. Why I'm done at 12.38? Second of all, get into the set, my mom. Set was $60. I paid more because you should always tip workers. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love, I love them. The shaping is perfect. The designs are perfect. I love a marble set. What can I say? What can I say? Ever in Charlotte, definitely visit Gem the Tech. Because first of all, she's affordable. Second of all, she's fast as fuck, boy. And third of all, she, she's sweet. She's sweet. She's so nice. This was my first time meeting her. And girl, I know you're going to watch this. So I appreciate you for letting me film. But she's so nice. I definitely will be back seeing her consistently because I need to get my nails done, guys. I need to be getting my nails done. I just can't believe that was in and out of there in an hour and some change. Like, is that not, is that not crazy? Guys, this is crazy. I'm geeking. I just got lunch. I door dashed the potas. I originally was gonna plan on eating just leftovers and I had some leftover chips and queso from Chipotle that I never finished. I ate them and it was came time to, you know, be done with lunch and I was still hungry. So I got, so Potas is basically a Mexican restaurant and I've been craving some fajitas cause I actually went out about 
a week ago now and I got some really good fajitas. So I've been craving them ever since. I think I got chicken, beef, and shrimp fajitas. Sorry, I'm changing the temp on my house, but I'm pretty sure I got chicken, shrimp, and beef fajitas. I know it's not one of the same thing. Okay, that's rice and refried beans. I don't eat refried beans. That's too young. <gasps> Sorry, I'm in awe. This looks really good. <laughs> Let's try the meat, let's try the meat. Oh my God, it's so tender. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can eat this by itself. I think this is the beef. Yeah. I'm back at the house, I ate my lunch. My tummy's full, she's poking out the butt on my shirt and now we're gonna do something a little bit more fun, fresh, something I've never personally have done before. But in order to do that, we have to go to my office. My tummy hurts. I really wanna take a nap. I'm really considering taking a nap because I am in fact going out with friends tonight. So I really wanna take a nap, but I don't want this video to be a waste of your time, a waste of my time, none of that. So we're just gonna have to tough it out. May end up taking a nap, but I haven't taken a nap in forever. Also, we're in, why do I look orange? Why do I look orange? <gasps> I'm sorry. I don't know why I just look orange as hell for a second. That was fool, I'm sorry. I don't know why I look orange. That's so, or my blush looks orange, not me. Maybe I should say that. Is it because it's shady in here? I think so. Yeah, it's. It's the light. Wow, that was really weird. I've never had a camera do that before. Very interesting. Okay, so this is a cute little background. You know if it was clean. So y'all know that I get PR left, right, this, that, and the third. And it's come to the point where I get so much PR to the point where I don't know what to do with it. And I am physically incapable of using all of it. So instead of it going to waste, I decided I'm gonna make a few boxes to actually give away to you guys. Now, I actually am looking at my PR little thing right here. If you watch the house vlogs, you know how we put this up already. I'm not gonna clock you, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna make a few PR giveaway boxes. I feel like I haven't done a giveaway in literally so long. I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and give the girls a giveaway because I cannot use all of this and I get so much good stuff. I feel bad for not using all of it and I feel like it's just a really easy way. Sorry, I'm taking the containers out. It's just a really easy way for me to give back to y'all for giving me so much of your time, energy, sometimes even money. It's the least I can do. I'm looking at all the PR I have now and it seems like I mostly get skincare. That doesn't surprise me. I think I'm gonna try to aim for two or three solid boxes with a few universal so makeup things, skincare, and then maybe some lashes because girl, oh. all these lashes. And I do clusters at home. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the PR packages. I've done giveaways before, but I've never particularly gave my PR away to y'all. And you guys are probably like, Aaliyah, this probably isn't even a lot of PR. I see people who get 10 times more. Yeah, and that's why they be giving it away too because this is physically impossible to use 15 moisturizers before the expiration date. Just being honest. So I think what I'm just gonna go ahead and do is empty out two of these, use these as holding spots for the PR until I pick a winner. I don't know how I'm gonna pick a winner. You guys will be seeing the rules, how to enter all that on the screen. It's probably just gonna be subscribed to the YouTube I'm just gonna empty out a few of these containers and before anybody asks these are from Ikea So is my storage bin or storage kind of like console that I use to keep all this stuff in I'm so grateful that brands think of me when it comes to Sending me stuff, but golly gee do they send a lot I don't post every single time I get PR because if that was the case I'll be posting damn near every two to four business days I was gonna have like little theme boxes for like a skincare theme and like a body care theme or like a makeup theme But that's not really very inclusive and kind of universal. So I'm gonna make some routine. So for example, I'm gonna try to have both or all three prizes. I'm not sure what I'll be able to do. Have a good cleanser, a good moisturizer, and then maybe a little treatment. What do we think? Looking at this already, I can tell that Versed Skincare sends me the most PR. I'm gonna put one of these in each of the PR boxes because I have like five of these and I love those so bad, but I, I just can't use them. Restoring serum and then a clarifying serum. Both of you will get some serum. I probably should be having like a cool little overhead shot of this right now, but the production on today is just real low. So we're just gonna, <laughs> okay. The production is in production in, and y'all don't like production all the time, and neither do I, because it's a lot of work. Do I not have any cleansers? I have another, si 
I don't know. <laughs> Lord, maybe I can put two serums in both because this is my treatment box. This is the Bliss Vitamin C serum. And then this is the, this is a cleanser. Let me see if I can find another serum that I could put in here. Is there anything in here? I don't know. I actually have this Peach Slices Snail Rescue Cleanser. So I'm just gonna throw that in one of those. Okay, and then here's a cleansing balm. Toner and serum. Bow. There's another one. More moisturizer. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What is this? Moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. This is empty. I was like, there's no way Belif sent me PR and I do not remember when they sent it to me. I just stabbed myself with my nail. Ah In this box, we have lashes. These are from their Christmas line last year. I'm just gonna one, two, somebody got glue. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. What is this? Lash primer, I'll give that to you too. Two facial radiance pads. Each person who wins one is going to get one of these. My camera battery's about to die. Ha! Ah, gotta make this quick. And then I think, oh wait, hold on, there's more. The boxes are officially assembled. We have this one right here and this one right here. In our first box, we have a thing of our Dell Professional Foam Mink Lashes. We have this Bliss Clarifying Toner and Serum. We have this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this Verge Just Breathe Clarifying Serum, this Ardell Lash Magic 3D Primer for your lashes, and then we have this cleanser, and then we also have these First Aid Beauty Facial Pads, and then the Versed Gel Moisturizing Cream. That's actually a really good thing, not gonna sit up here and lie. This box has the Pure Skin Facial Cleanser by First Aid Beauty, the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm, also has Ardell Mink Lashes. These are the Wispies Plush Duo, so it's like a line and lash, so it's like eyeliner that's like adhesive. And this one also has the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream, Coco Kind Tinted Lip Shield, the Versed Advanced Restoring Serum, and then some Versed All-in-One Hydrating Milk, and then finally, of course, the Matching Face Radiance Pads. I think these are some pretty good giveaway box sizes and quite frankly that made a really big dent in my PR. If you guys are ever interested in knowing about a few more products or want me to test anything out specifically just let me know and I literally will do it. I wish I can give away an SPF but I only have one and what I do to one I what y'all do to the other. Absolutely we know this. A few moments later. I just woke up from my nap. I'm ready to slay. <laughs> I feel well rested, well equipped, well taken care of this afternoon. But the problem is, Madison said she's on the way. I'm not wearing this to go out. Okay, I know that for sure. Hoping that doesn't fall over. But I'm gonna wear my Skims little crop teddy bear jacket. Camo pants that y'all always ask me about. The problem is, what shirt am I gonna wear under that? I technically could just wear the teddy bear jacket zipped up, but if I wanna free the tit, I'm going to. I'm not gonna keep her hide hidden away within the walls of a jacket. If I wanna open it, I wanna be able to open it. I think I could technically wear this shirt, but I kinda wanted to wear a bra. So I didn't have to wear my pasties again like I did earlier or my nipple covers, whatever you want to call them. Can't find a shirt that I think I could successfully wear just a normal bra with. So I think we're just gonna have to wear the nipple covers despite my best witches, 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 despite my best wishes because I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. I know that for sure. I'm glad I woke up and knew what was up because the worst thing that could have happened in this moment was I woke up and didn't know what to wear. One thing about me, I'm going to be indecisive about my clothing. It's so weird having nails, especially since having... <laughs> Not having my nails done done since my birthday to go to Jamaica. Now it's a random Tuesday and they're done and they look good. Y'all always ask me where I get these pants from. They're from Urban Outfitters. They're part of their Urban Renewal type of like program that they do. I don't know if they sell any more because I've had these for over a year, but I got these from Urban Outfitters. You can really just get big camel pants from any thrift shop, Depop, secondhand seller. But if you ever wanted to know, um, cause people ask me every time I post them. Also, I really do like these pants because tell me why. You know how the kids pants have like the little elastics to make them fit? Girl, why do these pants have them? <laughs> and they're so, Nice. Usually I keep them just like on almost at the tightest setting, but tie the tightest and then I'll like 
loop my button through the loop but i think with just the things tightened or fastened on my waist it looks good let me change my shirt i'm going to go ahead and touch up my makeup just a wee bit just a wee bit yeah just a wee bit did sleep in this i know usually when i, I was it a vlog that i literally like just filmed like not even two weeks ago and i was like yeah i like to wear makeup because it helps me like not lay down it helps me be more productive I haven't been taking naps as often as I used to because there was a point where I would literally take like a two hour nap every single day and still be tired. And that was the first nap that I've taken like low key in weeks. I don't know what it was. I think my body kind of thinks that it's about to be the weekend because every time it's a Thursday or Friday, my boyfriend is off Fridays and Saturdays. So for some reason, I think my mind just kind of associates him being off with it being the weekend. So Thursdays feel like Fridays to me. I'll always take a nap before then. But even before we were together and around each other as much as we are now, I would always take naps like the last day of the week for me. I don't know what that's about, but I guess that hasn't stopped because I still do it to this day. Even if they aren't like two or three long hour naps, I'm gonna still take a nap. I always say if my body is tired and it needs something, maybe you need to give it to her. You need to cave in and just give it to her. I'm tired of doing terrible things with my body and pushing it to its limits when I know good and well that I should be treating it better than I do. Okay, taking the settings spray again. Oh, I got a YouTube notification. Who posted? Melanie! I love Mel. Why am I pulling my underwear out of my pants? Girl, that's not Y2K realness. Melanie Patricia Cruz is one of my favorite creators because one, she loves fall just as much as I do. I think she might love fall and do fall better than anybody I know on any platform. I like her a lot. So if you ever need a good YouTuber or TikToker, she's great. I love her YouTube videos. I prefer YouTube videos over TikTok though because I just prefer long form content over short form. Okay, I think my pants are good enough. Let's add a little bit of deodorant. That's basically your entire underarm, babe. And she turned around and did it again. Ah, who's FaceTiming me? Oh my gosh, you got my house. I am. Let me come downstairs. Where are you, going to park? you can park. Oh, that's a good question. Actually, I can take my car and put it on the street, and y'all can park on my side because I'll drive. I can <laughs> okay, I'll be down in like five minutes. Oh, there's a white man walking up here. Ooh, I, your house. Ooh. Hello, white man. What are you doing? I hope it's Amazon. Because I have a package coming. He was in a red car. I don't think um, he is dropping off a package at your front door. Well, he needs... Ah, again? <laughs> again? <laughs> Put on my lotion real quick. I don't know what it is with these, um, what is this? Self and Glory lotion tops. I can never get them open and it's so annoying and i'd be having to take the lotion out and it drives me crazy okay i think we're ready i feel like i'm putting my hands into fist to protect my nails now <laughs> this shirt is really not long but it's longer than the jacket and that's bothering me we're feeling it she's taking it she's taking it okay let me go move my car so y'all have met madison before but you haven't met Jayla. And I actually was, sorry, my little thing is correcting, the lighting's correcting itself, but you guys are gonna be meeting Jayla for the first time today. After I move my car, of course, but I'm taking forever. But I'm gonna be driving downtown since, not that I'm the most skilled driver, but I think I drive the best out of us three. No shade. Okay, let's move my car. Who hold my camera. Oh my gosh, Jayla, how does it feel? Now you're gonna be on my, your first vlog today. First time ever in a Krispy Kreme. Jayla saw the hot and ready sign on <laughs> at the Krispy Kreme that we just parked by. And because we're so supportive, we were like, Jayla, we're gonna get you some donuts. So she's getting herself some fresh donuts. I didn't even know there was a Krispy Kreme over here. Should I get three? You can always just put it in my car. It's not like donuts stink. And I'm getting You came in here knowing exactly what you wanted. I'm yeah. so mm -hmm. <laughs> Water your milk. The hats. Oh, I'm taking one. Jayla, do you want a hat? I kind of do. <laughs> if you take one, I'll take one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's as much as y'all got. 
I don't know if I can fit that one. Oh, I will take my camera bag, by the way. <laughs> you do not have to carry that. <laughs> Thank you. I just can't believe y'all have never had Shake Shack before. Oh, she babes it. She babes it. Don't you wear it like this? <laughs> Pull out your hair. You want to taste this? I'll have a little bit. <laughs> Jayla's about to have a moment. Um, should we eat? Yeah. But it isn't warm. It's pumpkin. Ooh. Yeah. Mind you, we're about to get burgers and Jimmy. Ice cream with donuts? Those look fantastic. They're warm, okay? All right, hold on. <laughs> Is equal, okay? I just got you a 60 frames per second glaze everywhere. <laughs> this is amazing. Prince can be like, Jayla, we saw you. Like, Jayla, we saw you mouth harassing. They harass other things they shouldn't be. Jelly donuts is kind of crazy. That is kind of insane. Yeah, I feel safe leaving my car on the street downtown. Unlocked is crazy. Did you hear about the guy who was robbing all those cars and houses in the nicer neighborhood? Because nobody locked their car because it was nicer. You are still robbable, baby. It's not a scatty, but listen, <laughs> they people, bro, they literally people need cars. And just pull on people's doors to see if they're unlocked. And the fact that they still give people to this day. Okay, I will order first. I love you don't want a burger. Bacon cheeseburger, side of chef sauce, fries. It's crazy if I get chicken bites. No. Do I want a shake or a nice bev? A bev. Hmm. You can't wash down a burger with a milkshake. Oh, I love it on a hummer. <laughs> now that I have nails, the clicking is great. <laughs> yeah. Insert that website. Oh my gosh, let's see what Jayla's doing over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, let's pick a seat. Ah. Ooh. I'm currently here in the world at Strike Shark. With, with Jayla and Madison, because they've never had it before. And as soon as I got one of this information, I had to bring them here immediately. We're supposed to go Saturday. <laughs> no, because my code switching. What white guy from uh, Animal Clinton are you right now? Um, I don't know all of them. Jayla just came back from Vegas to see Usher. Do we no, need to debrief? He was so fine. <laughs> He's the video where he takes his shirt off. Oh, Usher? Yes, Usher. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Usher would have been the best performer you've seen, though. Beyonce, I feel like Beyonce and Usher are probably <laughs> your top two, because it's Beyonce and Usher. I feel like depending on what your vibe is, like, if you're thinking of, like, intensity, definitely Travis Scott, because his concerts are intense. Because his fans are intense. But, like, if you're thinking, like, effects and, like, production ones, that's Beyonce. Usher, from what I've seen, like, walks he, around, he talks to people, he sings to people, oh, like, yeah. he... I saw them busting down. The little soul train line in the skates? Yeah, 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 it was great. I like the way his like set is formatted though. It's for Jayla. Thank you. Okay. I want it all. Thank you. Is it hot? It's hot. It's fresh. It's fresh, baby. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, let me try a fry. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I feel like it matches their food really well though. Food, like you could eat. Well. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Stop cooking out now. No, no not the burger, not the burger. Mind you. The, the on a pot. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, not you come here shake to that gutter, but low down establishment. Cooking out favorite. used to be such good quality. My brother, now no. it's. Uh, my brother was in high school. Everything close to 2007. Cold. He would bring cookout home. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I'll eat cookout. I just think my beef is that why is the food never consistent? Bro, the quality has been going down. Like, but the price is definitely mm -hmm. up. It's very good. Cause what do you mean I can get a chicken quesadilla with queso from the back and that's it and it tastes different every time I get it? It's given Waffle House. I had Waffle House for the first time when I was drunk and I did not like that shit. <laughs> How do you not like something when you drink? Exactly. Do you like it? Scale of one to ten. Like standalone. I'll give it a nine. I feel like I love if the sauce was on here, oh, it would be a ten.
we're currently at the Jenny's right next to the Shake Shack because we needed something sweet and this is all Madison came for, not gonna sit up here and lie to y'all to rate your Shake Shack experience. My nuggets were tasty, they're in my purse. <laughs> I'll give it a 9.5 just because I can't give you the satisfaction. You see how nobody ever wants to see me happy? <laughs> my nuggets were a 7. Oh. You went to Shake Shack and got chicken. I, I had a burger yesterday. I will say, this Jenny's always smells good. Not gonna sit up here and lie. It smells really good in here. q and I bet. She's okay. <laughs> She's doing homework at the Jenny's, yo. <laughs> Can I get one scoop of the gooey butter cake? I'll do a cup. Thank you. This is so cutesy. For sure. Hey guys, um, I'm Madison. <sighs> I like Jenny's. I think Jenny's is superior to Cold Stone. Don't care what Aaliyah thinks because I already know she's going to watch this and think I'm attacking her because I am. The Shake Shack was really good. Don't tell her I told you that. I'm not good with cameras. She is and my man is, but I think I see this button to stop it. So bye. For some reason, I ended up at the Jenny's and back at the Shake Shack. <laughs> I needed something sweet. What is this? What is Jack and Jenny's babe. And I'm getting to go food. Come on. This is what gooey, I forgot the name. The name. That's stupid. We ever had butter cake? Oh. Now it's just like, really? I knew every day. It tasted different when I initially licked it. Yeah, now that I'm getting like mouthfuls of it, I give it like a six. It's coffee. Why you got my espresso pods in your bowl? Why you got my pods in your bowl? That is like a lemon. Explosion oh, in my shit. mouth. Blah! No point. Why are we yelling right now? We're back at the house. Everybody had their Shake Shack. Everybody had their Jenny. And I'm about to devour that Biscoff ice cream in my freezer. It's becoming a nightly routine at this point. I'm single-handedly keeping them in business. But I'm very content with watching the Lakers game. Well, we're Lakers to, game is on. We're I'm about not watching to watch shit. The, we're about to watch the Suns versus the Warriors. Yo, Taco Bell tours up. Taco Bell tours up. Tours up how? I, you know that one scene from White Chicks? And he's like fighting on Pop the Pop Pop Well, I was about to say, we got, <laughs> we got Popeyes two nights ago. And usually I have to poop right after I eat if I eat too fast. And as soon as I had to get that heating pad, and I was like, oh no. I was hurting really bad. You know, it was cool. Why I wake up the next morning and poop three more times? It's Yo, giving mild food poisoning. The Taco Bell we had was so good. We tore that shit up. And then we just started, we were laying on my floor. No, like, it hit you first, bro. So I was just the starting. face! <laughs> bro, I was just ah. like, I got nauseous. That's how I was after eating the Popeyes. Um, I had to throw up, I couldn't throw up. She was walking to her car, I was watching her car, I'm like, it has to creep up. The noises that came out of that bathroom was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I know. Hi. Hi. Madison and Jayla left like 40 minutes ago, and I'm still on this couch. But for some reason, I'm not in my outfit that I was in before. I don't know what happened. I'm sitting comfortably lounging at my house, getting ready to bathe and get in the bed. And I was like, you know what? I have to keep up this good streak of ending videos the way I should because y'all deserve that. So here I am ending out today's video. I hope you had a fantastic time with me today. We didn't do much. I wanted to do more, but I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. I didn't feel like doing half that shit. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. What are they supposed to do? Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, heavy on the subscribe and turn the bell notifications on all notifications. I post every Wednesday and Sunday if you're interested. So I wanted to say goodnight before I get pissy and I get cranky and I want to go to sleep. And I was like, you know what? Girl, you know you have to end this vlog and a vlog before you lay down. So I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me. We will be doing it again very soon. And I will see you on the next one.